Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, I'm going to try to explain how you can download the rainfall data of anywhere in the world using the Google Earth engine with just simple script. For this tutorial, you don't need to have an expertise of Google Earth engine. You just copy and paste this code and follow the instruction and you can download your data set for your area. So for the first thing, uh, you do need to define your area. Either you can define through the assets. If you have uploaded your shape file, you can export and use that um, into your area. Or you can provide a single point or a single polygon. So this code is specifically for downloading the data set of a single area. So for example, I'm going to download the rainfall data set of New Delhi. So I'm going to describe this as a polygon. As you can see that after um, making this uh, polygon, a geometry has been added. I just need to copy this geometry and paste it in the variable AOI. Then I need to define the start date and end date for which I am looking for the data set. So I'm uh, looking for the 2011 1st of January to 2000 and maybe 21 of uh, 1st January. So this uh, is an exclusive. That means this don't consider the last date. Next thing, uh, we need to define the rainfall uh, data. So three things we need to uh, keep in mind. First of all, we need to extract the image collection name. Second thing, the band name. And third thing is the resolution. So there are a number of rainfall data sets uh, into the uh, Google Earth engine. And into in order to explore this, uh, just uh, in the search place, type the precipitation and hit enter. So the number of data sets uh, with that uh, tag precipitation will come over your screen. You just need to open in the catalog. A separate tab will be open where you can find the number of data set. So there are number of data set which uh, will help you to download the rainfall data. So I will search for the chirps data set. Control S C H I R P S. So the chirps data set provide either in the daily or in the pentad format. I'm just going to click into the daily. So this is the web page of Chirps dataset, which is Climate Hazard Group Infrared Precipitation. You can read about in the description. Now we need to look over the three things. One is the image collection name. I'm just going to copy this. And in my code, I'm going to paste it in the image collection. Please make sure that the inverted comma should be there. Next thing, I need to look for the band name. So band name here is the precipitation. Sorry, I'll just copy this and you need to keep in mind the units. So units of this data set is the mm per day. I'm just going to paste it over the band name. And last thing we need to look for the resolution. So for this, the data, the resolution is 5566 meters, that means 5000 meter approximately. So I'm just going to paste it. Now everything uh, will be as it is. So this particular line I will image a chart um, in which a rainfall data set will be displayed from particular date. I'll just click run and wait for some seconds. So you can see that a chart has been displayed over here. I'll just uh, click over this button so that a chart will be extended. So now you can see that um, daily uh, rainfall data set from uh, January 2011 to December 2020 has been added. You just download, you can download the data with download CSV. A CSV file will be downloaded. And if you open the data site in the one column, you will find the daily data, dates, and in another column, uh, the rainfall. So the unit of this is the mm per day. That means mm. So likewise, if you are uh, interested, uh, not in the daily data set, uh, or maybe monthly, so you can search for another data set. So the TRMM data set is also a very good data uh, you can explore. Uh, if you search for TRMM, uh, there is a research paper in which uh, all the rainfall data set available in the Google Earth Engine has been compared with the ground data sets of Indian Meteorological Department. You can find the description of the research paper in the given link. So I'm just going to click this TRMM hourly data set. Here I need to copy this collection name next thing is the band name band name will be similar 
but please make sure that this time the units is in mm per hour and resolution is 27830 and just pasting this and click uh, run now this code will throw an error so as i told you that this code will throw an error and the error is that collection query aborted after the accumulating over 5000 element so that means if the result of any chart displays more than 5000 element it won't able to print and why is it, why is it so as i told you that this is the 3 hourly data set so that means for a single day it will have eight entries it will have eight data and for a year uh, it will have eight into 365 it will have 2920 images so in order to uh, be in the limit that means 5000 uh, we uh, need to provide a rainfall data set for only 625 days so for instance i am just going to uh, print the data set from 2011 only so that's why i'm giving end date at 2012 january and hit once uh, run once again now you can see the data has been printed similarly to our previous one and i'm going to download this csv and open the csv into the excel now you can see that for a single day we have total number of eight entries why because this is the three hourly data set and this time this unit is are in mm per hour so in order to convert them into mm per three hour you need to multiply by three so this is how you can download the data set for a single area in order to download the data set for multiple polygon or in order to download the data set for more thousand five hundred uh, and more than five thousand entries uh, either you can adopt some complicated code which i'm going to explain in my future videos or you can use the python api uh, the description of that particular code is uh, given in the the link for that particular code is given in the description and i'm going to take uh, a c a video lecture on that also so hope you enjoy this uh, and uh, like this video if you found this video informative please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share this video thank you